my video for August 16th, 2019 is video number 3,179. The title is Fairweather Friends. My mission at this time is making daily videos, which I have been doing since January 2011. I do my best to try to wake people up, to get as many as possible to think outside the box of controlled media, religion, education, and other aspects of human society. To me, the box is a controlled grid operated by those who do not have the best interest of humanity at heart. On the contrary, they are all about keeping us enslaved while they commit heinous crimes for which they are rarely, if ever, held accountable. Many of these friends follow an ideology of staying positive. However, as I see it, when that which is labeled negative is avoided, we cannot become whole. Healing requires a holistic approach that takes body, soul, and spirit into account. This approach is often downplayed by saying that the body or the physical realm is just an illusion. While this may be technically correct from a purely scientific view, I see it as just another avoid dance. What we choose to ignore is simply the area that we must focus on if we are to heal the wounds of living in a world of deception and control by less than honorable beings, including the fallen angels we call gods. While I do not like, or well, I'm sorry, while I do like fair weather, during storms it is necessary for survival that we help one another especially those who are downtrodden. This is probably the latest, certainly in a long time, that I've recorded any of my videos. It's just about 10 o'clock p.m. here, and I often record my videos in the morning for the next day, but this one will go up at midnight in about two hours from now that I'm doing the recording because I put my videos up at midnight every day and I've been doing it that way for a long time or as as close to midnight as possible. Sometimes it's a little later than that. Anyway, I posted a comment on uh, Facebook earlier today, six hours after I had uploaded my video. My video got one comment not counting the one that I also made. I made one comment and one other person made a comment and it, I didn't even look at how many views it has at this point. Uh, but uh, I don't even, I'm not sure how many views it has. So I'm not going to even guess it's, it's a hundred and something, but I don't know exactly how many in any case, the little comment that I voted or that I, that I made on Facebook, got 65 likes and 16 comments. Do you know how long it's been since any of my videos got that many likes or comments? Again, I sometimes get a few likes and sometimes the likes come up before the video would have even had time to have been watched, which is ironic. I mean, I've just posted it three minutes ago it's a 10 minute video and I get a like. <laughs> that means whoever put the like in didn't watch it. And so I struggle. I struggle trying to stay upbeat as much as I can, but also to be realistic as much as I can. And I look at the world that we live in and I look at how many people even in the apartment where I live that are ill and going to doctors and being put on medication, when are we going to understand that there is a vested interest in controlled medicine? I didn't even name that in the blurb, but it's about money. Everything in the system, the controlled media, the controlled religion, controlled education, and all other aspects of human society are based on money. And we live in a system where money has no value. 
Now, supposedly, that's changing. Supposedly, everything soon will have to be asset-backed. No more fiat currencies. And yet, fiat currencies even are not the problem if you had honest people in charge that wanted to uplift everybody, that wanted to benefit humanity. But those that rise to positions of leadership in all aspects of our culture, even clergy, are driven by a lust for power, greed, and often even they are found to be pedophiles and those that abuse children, including, including many people in the clergy, which should break our hearts, but it doesn't. And very few have to actually be held or are, are actually held accountable for their nefarious deeds. In fact, it is the people that have risen to supposedly press, uh, pristine positions and power positions that are the most guilty and they control the system so they don't get held accountable for their actions. They get to escape through the tracks, uh, through the cracks. Epstein, some suggest, did not commit suicide. That was a fake news story. Uh, and he actually was taken to Israel, uh, where he will probably be given an, a, another name and continue to survive because he's part of the lying system. And I just got a, a message about a major California clergyman who was brought up on charges and set a $50 million bail uh, because he committed crimes against children. And, of course, his parishioners deny it. They don't want to believe that he did that. And yet, we know, if we've been paying attention over the, over the years, we know that oftentimes those that go and establish these cult-like religions do commit sins and often get away with it. And many of them do not even confess, like Jimmy Swigert at least said, I have sinned and owned what he did. But others do not. They still are in denial. I'm grateful that some Catholic clergymen and other church clergymen are being held accountable. But we need to face these things, folks. We need to recognize this, and there needs to be a leveling of the playing field, and there needs to be accountability for those that have done things wrong. This idea that this is just an illusion, so it doesn't matter, and whatever you do is, is wiped away uh, in some mass uh, forgiveness thing, without repentance, without any remuneration being paid back to those that were victimized. And people say, Ron, there are no victims. We all choose the things that happen to us. I know I hear people say that. I used to probably teach it myself because I was sucked into the new age ideology. But it's not true. It's not true. We have to face the fact that this world is a world of deception. And this world has to have our loving God take responsibility by either empowering us or just simply taking out those that do not repent and letting them go somewhere where they can be given an opportunity to repent, but no longer being in control of others. Anyway, that's my time is up. So thank you for listening and namaste.